Welcome back to the uh, SID, the Swiss International Day 2020. I'm sitting here with Dr. Ines Blau, who is the Managing Director and Executive Dean at EHL. Ines, Hi. nice to meet you. Same here. Lovely to see you here. And uh, you've just come off your presentation. Yes. And your presentation was all about the challenges and opportunities in, in training and learning during COVID-19. So I'd like to ask you from that presentation, and for those who weren't in the audience, what would be three key takeaways that you'd like people to have? Well, what I did during that presentation is share with the audience what happened to AHL um, during the COVID-19, especially during the lockdown and, and how over a weekend we shifted to remote learning. And so obviously that was a big event. And, and from that experience, share with them um, my feedback and what I've been thinking about since that crisis, um, while I'm just catching my breath, as I said on stage, one thing became really obvious for me because we did well. We could have improved many things, obviously, but we did well. And one takeaway for me is that it's because of the people. It's because I was uh, privileged to have experts, well coordinated between themselves, well organized teams, and and that my message to the hotelier was there is a human capital. If we invest in it, if if we spend more time on it, um, uh, we can make a difference with our people because because we made a difference during the crisis thanks to our people sure. so that was my five cents okay, <laughs> of what happened excellent, excellent. and can you tell us a little bit about your personal but also EHL's biggest challenges and learnings during the, the COVID-19 piece? What were what were really some of the things that, that, that struck you through that process? Well, that's exactly what I was sharing with the audience um, five, three minutes ago, a few minutes ago. As I was saying, people, people matter. Um, why we did what we did, it's because our students were supportive. Our main learning was support and community is, is really important. Mm. And, and we were really lucky to have that at EHL and we become even even stronger. The crisis also showed us that we had so many skills that alternatives are possible and I think that's the main learning we had. Where we didn't really, what was more of a painful point was communication. We were so busy doing um, that maybe we could have improved communication and that's exactly what we are addressing, the way, the tone. But again, um, I'm repeating myself, but really um, the COVID leaves us nowhere to hide and all these issues that we're just ignoring before COVID I think now we have to address them and mm. one of them is how do we manage our people how do we invest in them and how do we take the most out of each individual we have in our in, in, in our company right, right. Uh, that's I mean, for me that was the main main learning of, of okay, okay great happened. just to, to kind of step away from the COVID focus point now I'd like to also get your opinion on where you believe that there is a, a real opportunity for room of improvement around education and learning for our industry. We have to rethink how we train our people and why we train them and when. Um, what I was trying to say to the, with the audience is when. It has to be on the learner agenda. And we, as a manager, we have to find the right moment between what when the institution wants you to do and and um, and, and what the learner needs. And I think that, that is, aside obviously from the digitalization of education, it is something that... Uh, it's a big talk before COVID. We had our project and now we are just going at 100 times the speed of it. Yeah. So for, for our industry, I think the good training and the good timing for the right person, I see it as, a, as also a challenge for myself as a manager yeah. uh, of yeah. people. Right. I know also for EHL, it's very, one of your principles is almost like very effective teaching methods. How do you apply those now, given the fact that we are in a social distancing world, exactly. things are remote? Exactly. That just adds another layer of complexity. And yeah. I, I, I'm sure you probably touched on it a yeah. little bit in your presentation. But if you could, for those who weren't there, if you could dig into a little bit how from as, as the, the leader of that organization, how do you drive that? How do you to bring that? What we did and what we are doing is coming back to the fundamentals, okay. the fundamentals of pedagogy. And that's what we are doing as we are uh, getting ready for a few weeks for the hybrid model, uh, where we have students in the classroom and outside at the same time. How do we engage people? And it's, it, it's, it was important before digital, but mm. now it's just, it's just obvious. Mm. And the one who cracked these codes of these hard issues that mm. we had before, mm. but now we just have to face them. It. It's like you always had this problem, you knew it was there, 
there, but now it's just in front of yeah. you yeah. and you have to address it, which I think is a great opportunity because yeah. we are addressing the key fundamental uh, elements. How do you engage with the students? How do you make sure you're on the right time so for them to, to absorb and make a change? And as I was saying in the audience, it's by doing, 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 doing. That's why I'm so grateful to be in the dual yeah. Swiss system and reflect and change. Mm. Um, mm. And these are, any pedagogue will tell you, is just the fundamental of, mm. of, uh, of training and, and education. Sure. And, uh, and what, are, what are you hearing that are some of the major concerns from the students that you, you're, you're not, only, not only the new ones coming in, so the new enrollments, but also those that are midway through and also leaving and graduating? Well, there is, as we discussed earlier with the Q&A, there is this pression, pressing, pressing issue of we are putting students, graduates on the market and yes. there is not a lot of job. Yeah. So, uh, so that is what we are doing is reinforcing our community and widening the scope even more. EHL, since 20 years now, we cater actually to outside the hospitality industry. We, we, we bring hospitality to the world, mm -hmm. to the non-hospitality. So uh, making that world is even even bigger. Mm -hmm. For us, the biggest uh, pressure is the job, the mm -hmm. job market, mm -hmm. uh, whether for internships. And our students, they chose hospitality because they wanted to be in the action. And then when they find an internship or a job that is from home, they are a bit uh, sent back off. Yeah. And so they have to make, yeah. they have really difficult decisions to make. Yeah. They, yeah, I don't want to, I mean, they really yeah. are facing difficult decisions, yeah. but uh, like all of us are creating alternative. I'm a true believer that innovation comes from restriction or, yes. or not being able, and, yeah, and that's does. the power of humans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think you're, from the impression that I get is that you're taking a very uh, proactive approach to ensure that your students are getting that support as well. We have to. Yeah. We have to. It's, yeah. uh, and, I, and I, we still have a long road. We, it is just, we started doing that, I mean, we have like, what, three months experience on that? Mm -hmm. So we still have a lot to do. Yeah. And, and we are working with our industry relation, with our alumni, with, um, but that would be, that would be how to help the hospitality industry yeah. because it's suffering yeah. how to be we we have this really strong tie with the hospitality industry and our dear hospitality industry is uh, yeah. living a terrible moment so how to be again a partner for them yeah, exactly. um, through our students very yes, good that's okay. a, a tough one but it yeah. is all right yeah. well listen thank you so much thank really you. Appreciate, appreciate your time thank you thank, thank you. you very Bye -bye. much thank you